Okay, hello, this is Mo, your amateur urban gardener from Houston, Texas, USA, and my dear husband is operating the camera, and uh, he told me that I needed to show you a little bit more about spearmint, okay? This, I told you outside that I washed, so what I do is I fill the sink with cold water, I put all the chopped spearmint in there, wash it a little bit, and then shake it out, shake it out real good, and put it in colanders, and let it dry for a little bit before I place it on the cutting board and chop it up like I showed you outside. And then after it dries real well, you know, I told, showed you those trays that I dried it on. And uh, hold on for a second, right there. I showed you how I dried it on trays, so this is not dry yet. And you know, once a day or so I go by and I um, you can see I chopped it pretty fine here on the cutting board, then spread it out on these trays. And it's real wet at first, but every day I go by and, you know, spread it around a little bit, let it dry, um, you know, so it'll dry more evenly. And once it's dry, you know it's dry. It turns dark, it shrinks, and then <clears throat> this is what it looks like. This is October 2011, but this is what it looks like. I mean, it looks like regular tea. And... What I do is I will, with this stuff, once it dries real well, <clears throat> I'll just write on here with the permanent marker, spearmint. <clears throat> okay, so I write it slower. I try to write it more neat, but anyways, you get the idea. Spearmint, and this is February. <coughs> Excuse me. February. 2012 so I write that on there and then fill it up and put it in the back so that I'm using the the oldest stuff first my husband loves green tea green spearmint tea so what I do usually is I'll put five tea bags you know, take them out and basically I, I cut off a, the string as well that one pulled off, but I'll put five tea bags in here, plus I put three good size. Now, if you were just making only spearmint tea, probably you could put five, six, maybe seven. Well, if you were just making a pot of tea, I would say two, two pinch, two fingerfuls like this. I'll show you. If you were just making a pot of tea, you know, you would use like maybe that much or maybe twice that much, depending upon how like how strong you like your tea. But what we do is I make a concentrated tea. I put three pinches like that, three good pinches, heavy pinches of this dried spearmint tea. Plus I put five bags, tea bags of green tea in this pot, fill it up with hot water, and once it's, once it's, um, you know, boil, fill it up 10 minutes, let it brew for 10 minutes, and then strain this through a strainer so we don't get this uh, loose tea. I'll strain it into this bottle and it probably fills it about halfway full, and then with filtered water I fill it up the rest of the way, and this makes a really nice iced tea, green spearmint tea, which my husband really likes. Oh, and I put a little bit of uh, agave nectar in it to sweeten it up because he likes stuff a little bit sweet. So that's basically the whole thing. Okay, and then this is a great uh, gift to give to someone, too. So that's all. Peace and happy gardening and happy cooking and food prepping and all that stuff. Signing out, Mo, your amateur urban gardener from Houston, Texas, USA.